It's Wes, Super Wes that is. In this video, I'm going to explain the CPAP mode, in particular on the LTV ventilators, but this usually applies to all the other ventilators too, with maybe one or two slight differences. I've already explained the SIS control and SIMB in other videos, and now I'm going to explain the CPAP. First of all, that stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. Most people think of CPAP as the thing you wear on your nose at night if you have sleep apnea, but it's a little bit different in the ventilator. CPAP is the last mode that everybody will be on when they are weaning off a ventilator. As they are progressing the doc on, on SIMV mode, the doctor will start turning down the breath rate from wherever it is, 20, 18, 16, usually down to about four or six. And at that point, they'll do a blood gas. If they're doing okay, now it's time to put them on CPAP mode. And on this ventilator, the way we get them into CPAP mode is by simply turning off the breath rate, turning it to zero. Now we're in CPAP mode. If you'll notice these first four boxes are dim. That means they're inactive. Doesn't matter what is dialed into those and we're not gonna chart them. There are only three settings that determine how they get a breath in CPAP mode. First of all is the sensitivity. In this case, it's at two and in liters per minute. If they pull in two liters a minute of air, that tells the machine that they want a breath. Now I have the peep dialed in to five. That means it's gonna keep their, that pressure helps keep their airways open, doesn't let them collapse. And that's the starting point of the breath. When they trigger a breath, it will give them up to 13, well in this case, 13 of pressure via the pressure support. Now the pressure support is used to overcome the tubing of the ventilator and also the whatever tube they have that they're giving air through. If it's an endotracheal tube or the trach tube, just to help overcome that. And then any extra air they want, they have to pull on their own, use their own muscles. So you go from here, they'll take a breath. The pressure may go a little bit higher, a little bit lower if they cough or if they pull real hard for a breath, but they have to initiate every single breath on their own. If for any reason, this patient goes for more than 20 seconds without taking a breath, the ventilator will alarm with apnea. It'll kick in and start giving them a certain amount of breaths. It will alarm with apnea. It will kick in and start giving them a certain amount of breaths per minute at 500 milliliters over one second. And it will do that until they start breathing on their own again or until you come in and reset the ventilator and check to see what's going on. Typically, when a patient is turned on the CPAP mode, if they're in an acute care hospital, we'll turn them on that mode for about two hours, check their blood gases. If their blood gases are looking good, they're not in distress, it's time for that tube to come out and they're gonna be off the ventilator. If it's a long-term setting or if it's a child at home, it, they may be on this mode for a little while. If it's a long-term acute care, they may be on this mode for two or three days, maybe a week to ensure they're doing good. With a child that has been on the ventilator weaning for about a year, it may be a month or more, it could be several months until everything's straightened out that they're on CPAP mode. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.